guys, you guys want to know how can you sleep better? How can we help you with that? So sleeping is really, really important. And when you are, you know, starting a business or you have a very busy lifestyle, it's important that you get good sleep. So I'm going to show you lots of different ways how to sleep better. So first things first. Why are you still awake? So make some notes because this is going to be really, really good training and coaching for you guys to be able to actually coach into your life, to your team and to your families, um, to be able to understand um, a better way that you guys can get more sleep, but also your life will improve, your business will improve, you'll have more energy in the day, you'll be able to get more stuff done. So, you know, why are you still awake? What's the reason? What do you, what do you think the reasons are? So you can type away here if you want me to read them out. Just what do you think your reasons are for being awake? So it might be that you're stressed. It might be that you're worrying about having to get up the next day. That's a bad one for me. If I think that I've, I've got to get up early the next day, I, I really struggle to sleep because I'm like, what happens if I miss my alarm clock? Um, what happens if I'm late? What happens if I miss my flight? Um, so what is the reasoning behind why you are still awake? Try and think about it. Write it down if you, you have a reason. It might be that you have a child and that you're worried that they're going to wake up. So you're listening out for them to see if they're going to wake up. You can't live life like that. You can't live life like worrying about what's going to happen. You have to just live in the moment. So yours is worrying about getting up on time. Yeah, so sometimes that can be quite stressful. However... The best thing is, is if you get into a cycle, you're going to be up on time. So your body is natural body clock will get up on time. You could even not turn your alarm on and your body will naturally start to get up in the space of half an hour between what you set your alarm clock to. So the other thing is, is why are you worrying? So why are you still awake? Why are you worrying? What's the biggest, what's the worst thing that's going to happen? What's the worst thing that can happen if you, if, if you don't get up? What's the worst thing that can happen if you have an amazing night's sleep? Have a think about it and write it down. And you might be feeling a bit down and that's maybe the reason why you can't sleep. You're worrying about certain things. You feel down about certain things. So why do you feel down? Why, what's, what's making you feel anxious? What's making you worry? You know, what are you down about? So maybe write that down. What are you feeling down about? So why are you awake? Why are you worrying? And what are you down about? Okay, I'm going to give you some three amazing tips. So the first one is have a relaxing bedtime ritual. It's dead, dead calming. So what you need to do is have a bath, have a book, read through a book, or maybe it's a mindset training, an audio that you like to listen to, plug it in, and then go to bed. So have a ritual. You know, don't exercise two hours right before you're going to sleep. If you, if you exercise late at night, try and do it earlier on in the evening. You know, don't eat right before you go to bed. Don't wait till, you know, nine, ten o'clock at night to have your meal. You need to eat earlier because your body's working away, um, you know, are working away to use that food up so it's using lots of energy so by doing that you're going to be awake because your body's working so make sure that you eat earlier on in the evening don't drink coffee and tea past 6 p.m and i know that's hard because some of you are like oh i could just do it with a brew before bed have a hot milk have a horlicks i love a horlicks have a hot chocolate have something that's not got caffeine in that's you know you could have um, a caffeine free tea instead you could have a hot water and lemon. Whatever it is, try and avoid caffeine before six o'clock. You know, so it's important that you follow these things. So don't eat too late. Make sure that you're um, drinking enough water as well. Wow, so many people don't fall asleep properly because they're so dehydrated. If your lips are dry and they feel a bit dry, they, you're probably dehydrated. And if you're struggling to sleep, Try and go have a glass of water because your, your body might be so dehydrated, it's keeping you up. So make sure you're drinking enough water throughout the day as well. Tip number two, have a wake up sleep schedule. Go to bed at the same time every night. Don't fluctuate it where one night you're going to bed at nine, the next night you're going to bed at midnight, the next night you're going to bed at half eight. You know, have a night where you 
create a schedule and you stick to that every every day of the week. So it might be that you decide actually half nine is a good good time for me. That means that I can get stuff done, but also I get an, enough hours sleep. You should always be looking at getting enough about eight hours sleep. Your body cannot run if you don't. And if you're into sport, you're into fitness and you're an athlete, there is no way you can be the best that you can be on less than eight hours sleep. So you need to work out what time in. Sometimes I get up at half six in the morning to go to the gym. So if I'm doing that, I need to make sure that I've got eight hours sleep wise. I'm not going to be able to do the best that I can do. So make sure that you pick a time to go to sleep at night. That's going to be every single night. If it's a weekend, it's going to mess up your um, schedule a little bit, but that's all right. You know, you can get back, straight back into it. And then also, make sure that you're waking up at the same time each day. So if you have to get up for work, that's a great time. You know, start scheduling that. And then you'll see at the weekend, you actually do get up a little bit earlier. And the early bird does um, bite the worm. So maybe, make, or eat the worm, whatever you call it. Early bird eats the worm. So, you know, it's great to be able to get up a little bit earlier on a weekend. So if you get up early all week, amazing. Go do the things that you want to do on a weekend. So number three is do not clock watch. Oh my word, the amount of people that I hear and I say to them, how when you when you can't sleep, what do you do? They're like I keep checking my clock and it's like ten minutes have gone, half an hour's gone, an hour's gone, two hours have gone. Don't do it to yourself. That's the worst thing you can do because then you're like, oh my no, oh my word, I've got to be up in two hours. Oh, um, I've got to be up in an hour. Oh my word, I've got to be up in half an hour now. Don't do it. What you need to do is start by putting your clock away from the bed so that you can still hear it when it goes off in the morning. You still got the alarm clock, but you don't clock watch. You don't turn over and check it because when when you get into that natural sleep cycle. You're going to start to breathe properly and sleep better. You don't have to clock watch because as soon as you start checking, you start building that anxiety and start worrying about the time rather than the actual thing that's keeping you up. So just breathe through it. So that's another good way of trying to get to sleep is breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth and just taking really, really big, deep breaths. So and doing that for about two to three minutes. And every time you breathe out, get rid of what you're worrying about. Get rid of everything and just think it's leaving the body. It's getting rid. I don't need it right now. I need to sleep. And that's all you need to do is breathe out everything that's worrying you. So number four is be in an optimal sleep environment. So you need to be in a dark room because dark rooms are going to help you sleep better. And that's because the melatonin um, outside with the sun, the light, if you've got artificial lights on, you've got your lamp on, that's going to keep you awake. Whereas actually you want to produce uh, more so that you actually go to sleep. Um, so this is incredible. You need to turn everything off. It needs to be dark, dark room. It's better for you to watch TV downstairs than in bed because if, as soon as you go into that room, you know that it's bedtime and your body goes into automatic and says, right, it's sleep time now. I'm not up. I watch TV downstairs. I don't watch TV in bed. Um, it needs to be cool. So a lot of people mistake that they want a really warm, cosy room. Actually, your bed should be warm, but your room should be cold. So you could get an electric blanket, you know, make sure that the bed's nice and cosy and warm. But the room needs to be really fresh and cool for you to be able to sleep. So it needs to be a lot cooler than what you think so that you can breathe in the fresh air that is cool for you to sleep in there. And number five is a tech free zone. Do not put your TV and laptop on and your phone's going away. You know, get rid of the stuff. Get rid of it. When it comes to bedtime, from like, say to yourself, from if you need to be bed at half nine, say from nine o'clock, I am not touching anything technical I'm not I'm not touching it because it's just keeping my brain awake it's flicking away going oh I could do this oh look what that candy crush is doing oh look at that Instagram picture oh I could scroll through this all night and that's what your brain does oh I need to get back and speak to somebody because if I don't get back to them right now then you know they, they might they might not work for me anymore oh my god or if I don't respond to this person now they might not buy any more products from me get over it get over it of course they're gonna do that of course and if they don't then more fool them but it's half past nine at night. You need to go to sleep. So make sure that you have a tech free zone. Because if you do all these five things, so a relaxing bedtime ritual, having a wake sleep routine, 
Don't Clock Watch. Number four is Optimum Sleep Environment. And number five is a tech-free zone. You're going to start to naturally feel better. So drink lots of water. Check what you're eating in the day as well. Don't have caffeine right before bed. Don't exercise right before bed. Don't eat lots of heavy meals before bed. And be in an environment that you can create for your children, your family, that they have the same ritual. Because if you're knackered, you're not going to perform at 100%, are you? And if you're tired, you're not going to be able to give the day everything that you can. And if you're tired, you're not going to be able to be the best mom because you just don't have the energy or best dad because you don't have the energy for your children and your work life. So go out there, be the best that you can be in the day, come home and do everything you can to give yourself that rest because you deserve it because you've worked so hard. You deserve a good rest. So go for it. Choose those five things tips or takeaways because I want you to go and do something with them rather than just take it as a tip take them away and do something and have a better night's sleep I want to hear lots and lots and lots of people who sleep better from now on so follow me on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter it's real Hannah Godfrey you know where you can find me on YouTube, Real Hannah Godfrey as well. Watch my videos. And if you're watching this on a replay or you're watching this on YouTube, a massive hello and thank you very much. And hopefully we'll see you guys soon as well.